Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. Um, yeah, the market is literally frozen whilst waiting for the inflation data coming out today. Hopefully it generates some volatility and we finally get this correction finished. I'm still looking for ideally another low, especially as long as Ethereum is staying below 1791. I had a few questions, you know, if, if first of all, first question was, do I not consider that the low could already be in? I've said many times the low can certainly be in for Ethereum. It has done exactly what we wanted. It came down lower. But it's just that, first of all, the wave count allows for one more low at least. So we need to be open to the idea it could give us one more low. And as long as price is below resistance, the wave count suggests one more low. And we don't see an impulse to the upside. I cannot confirm that a low is in. But I very clearly want to I want to make very clear the low can be in here at any time. Okay, it's just not very likely at the moment with this sort of double bottom, triple bottom that we have here, because they rarely hold, and the move up that was done is only in three waves. So it's same story like here where we had a three wave top and we were waiting for another low. Same so same story. Now if it suddenly develops an impulse out of nowhere, we can be open to the idea that a low has been made because Ethereum reached the trend reversal area here, okay? Now for the for the second time, but here I wasn't convinced, also due to the structure to the upside. So we need to be um, very much aware, right? So I might not mention it in every video, but I make enough videos, which <laughs> hopefully should be clear. But yeah, if you're new to, these, to this channel, you may not know that. But um, Ethereum in this entire correction can be finished at any time. It has done enough. I still think it should go a little lower. 1660 would, would be ideal gave you the resistance. So the second question was, okay, if we go above 1791, which is resistance here for this way four, does it mean the low is in? Not automatically, but it will make it more likely. Okay. So it can always, it depends, you know, if it's an, it's if, if it is a corrective structure to the upside, if it's only this, yeah, corrective three waves, then it might just be an extension, just a larger corrective bounce. But if we see the first five waves up and it's an impulse, then I would say yes. And then we need to see the three wave pullback and that's when we can confirm it, okay? Um, until then, uh, things are not that clear um, just because we are in a downtrend, okay? And we need that trend change signal. Without that, we cannot confirm it. Does it mean you need to wait for confirmation until you can enter a long trade? No, that's a completely different thing. Um, that depends on your personal strategy, okay? There's uh, hundreds of ways how you can be successful at trading, um, but probably even more ways how you can be unsuccessful, <laughs> okay? So that's, that's how it is. Um, yesterday we said, okay, there is a chance that this wave four is already in, and that's still the case. Yeah, the possibility is that this wave four topped here when it hit resistance. Um, on the way down now, was possible that this was a wave one, this was a wave two, and we're now coming down in the third wave, but this move up is getting a little bit too strong. So it's entirely possible this wave two is going to sit here. Um, this is just a micro count anyway. So this is going to change, as I said. This is just an idea how this can unfold. So as I said in yesterday's video, th this wave four can extend further as long as we don't have a break below 1720. That would be the breakout point to the downside because the move down was in three waves. The move up is in three waves, so it could even become a triangle. It could be the wave four is just simply going a little higher in an ABC structure. Yeah, that this B wave actually sits here. The C goes higher. Okay, so th that's why it's so important, especially in the correction, you can you can get this as long as you don't have the breakout. Um, you can price is just ranging, right? It's just moving in a range here. Um, and for me, the range top, even though that's not a price top at the moment, but the range top is 1791 because that's the resistance. Only a sustained break above 1791 would make me rethink about uh, the wave count until then. This is what it is. Yeah, lower expected against 1791. A break above 1791 would, in my opinion, first unlock prices all the way up to um, 1860. The next resistance level here, the wave too high. Um, but then we just need to look at the structure, yeah, um, to say, okay, we have, you know, a more substantial low in place, which looks unlikely to me at the moment, or at least less likely. So the moment downside is still preferred, especially as long as we stay below resistance and as long as we see only corrective downside. So just be aware that this wave four can easily extend even a little higher um, as long as price hasn't broken below 1720. All right, that's my update about Ethereum. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.